Hey, this is Electrical Beast, aka the Jotion of Let's Plays, and welcome to this new video. Well, I, st I recently started playing Minecraft again, the full version. And yep, it's in the full version now. And it's a lot of stuff's changed. So yeah, I, was, I watched Nightmare RH's Minecraft Let's Plays and I his videos and well it inspired me to play minecraft again and yeah I've been addicted so I started this map about four hours ago well not four hours ago the other day but I've been playing it for about four hours in well I'm gonna show my findings so I think first I'm gonna go to that lava pit over there because I've not checked that out myself yet and you can also sprint now Oh, and I've also brought some food with me because you get hunger now. Whoa! Oh my word, that's a lot of bones. Is that a creeper over there? I'm not sure. Hey, we've got a lava source there. Which is always helpful because we can make obsidian with that. Oh my word, I didn't notice this cave before. I have to explore that eventually. Oh yeah, this is amazing because there's loads of caves which I haven't even seen yet. So yeah, I'm going to go to that mob village over there now. And well, my first night of playing... Well, I was a bit slow of making my shelter. So what I did, I stayed here for the night on my first night. And they let me stay. They're very friendly. So yeah, this is the house I stayed in. Just so I could wait for the next day and build my shelter, which I'll be showing a bit later. And also, there was Enderman here. And he teleported, and it really scared me. I ran back in. Made me jump. Yeah, thankfully there hasn't been any creepers destroyed this village yet. And also some more lava. And I also did a bit of community work to say thank you back for letting for letting me stay over. So yeah, they had a lot of crops that was well, a lot of animals trampled on them. So yeah, I owed them down and pl replanted them as a bit of a community work. Yeah, and I also got some sand there. That's where I've got my sand. I need to explore that mountain eventually. Okay, so I'm going to teleport back to my house now. Teleport, Luigi! Okay, and I'm back in my spawn location. And I also forgot to mention. Well, there were no trees around here. So what I had to do, I had to get a tree from over there. A sapling. And then I planted it here. And then it like multiplied. Because you get a lot of sapling from trees. So yeah, I'm making it like a foresty area around my house here. So yeah, let's go into my house. It's very small, small but cosy. We got a jack-o'-lantern there, we got a chest there. Not much, and I just heard a zombie. <laughs> We've also got some stuff here. Uh, yeah, I'm carrying food everywhere now, because you definitely need it. I'm going to cover this up because it'll probably go dark a bit soon. So yeah, it looks very cosy in here. Because I quite like it. Because it's like small and cosy. I think I prefer the small places. Oops. Okay, so I'll show you my findings. Because I dug underground a lot under my base. So let's go down here. And I found quite a lot of stuff really here. Going down the stairs, going down the stairs, going down, going down, going down the stairs, going down the stairs, going down the stairs, we're going down the stairs. Okay, this is the first thing I ran into. Well, I'll show you. I was digging under here and like. I found a, 
I'm not sure that was natural. But I'll show you here as well. And I still have to explore this. So yeah, this is quite incredible and I've not explored this yet. But I was quite amazed because I found this in like the first hour of playing, which I was not expecting to. There we go. So yeah, under here is like connected to that place. Because <laughs> it's virtually... I'm not sure what it is. I think it's a mob spawner. Okay, so let's go down here. Yeah, thankfully I did bring food. Om nom nom. There we go. And also, I found some gold ore. This was like... I found this quite quickly, surprisingly. And it's quite a... Fairly big. Yeah, I dug around it because to make sure there was no lava there. We've also got some redstone here. So, yeah, I need to mine this out eventually. And then I dug down a little bit more and found diamonds. Woohoo! And yeah, this is also a nice vein. And I still have to dig this out. But I decided I want to film this video first to show my findings. I'll probably dig it out after the video. So yeah, I think that's the quickest I've ever found diamonds. And then I hit bedrock. And yeah, I quite like having a bedrock maze, so I did dig it out a bit. So it's quite cool having one. Yeah, it's quite a small one, so I'll probably dig it out a bit more. There's more redstone, and if you right-click on it, yeah, it glows, which is very cool. Yep, let's carry on our adventure. And I also digged out the dirt here, and I found redstone, woohoo. As Nightmare RH is saying goes, trust the dirt. The dirt is your friend. So let's carry on our adventure. Okay, in here, while well, I was digging and I noticed there's water under, there's water above here. As you see, the water's falling through. And I did have a quick look. And well, I'll show you quick, but I'm a bit scared because I think there's going to be zombies. Okay, let's show you quick. Oh god, oh god. Yeah. There's definitely zombies and skeletons there. But. It's like a square room. It's like perfectly square almost, and there's some water. That's where the water's coming. There's a waterfall. And I also saw some more diamonds in there. Not sure how many though. But it looked like one from. Why you point? But I do have to dig it out. So yeah, this is virtually all water. And then I kept digging, and more redstone, which is always good. You can never have enough. And I noticed here, there's lava above there, because the red indicates that there's lava. Oh yeah, I'm a bit scared to dig that out, but. That's quite a good source because the water is near the lava. So you, you can always make obsidian easily doing that. And also water and lava also indicates diamonds, which I did see one up there. I will have to explore it one day. <laughs> 
Okay, and I'm also going to go to my next map now with my other findings, so be right back. Okay, and I'm back in the other day. I also generated this map, and it's like a swamp type of map, which is pretty cool, and there's also some lily pads there. But the cool part I found, which is really neat, this is the only reason I saved the level. Well, we go through the water, eh? And check this out. There's a cave under the water. Which is really incredible. There's, yeah, the cave also goes there as well. Oh yeah, this is pretty amazing. I want to see how big it is. Yeah, this actually looks like a big cave as well. Ouch. Calm down there, skeleton. So yeah, this is the only reason I kept this map, because the underwater cave there, which is really cool. So yeah, thank you for watching my findings in Minecraft. And once again, thanks to Nightmare H, I'm really enjoying his Minecraft playthrough. And many great laughs. And it also got me back into playing Minecraft again, so thank you very much. And yeah, I'll put a link in the description. Oops. Okay, so yeah, thanks for watching my findings, and until next time, see ya. Bye.